Cancer is a killer, claiming hundreds of thousands of lives in this nation each and every year. Today at the state capitol, cancer survivors and volunteers are joining forces, calling on lawmakers to step up funding to fight the disease. News 8's Ken Pierce live in our New Haven newsroom this noon with more on how their plan of attack will work. Ken. And Keith, some of the people most affected by cancer are at the Capitol right now because they also make the best lobbyists for the government to do more to lower cancer rates. I'm here for me. I'm a cancer survivor. Dozens of people like Lynn came to Hartford to talk to their legislators about something very important to them, cancer. Who can look at you and say they're not behind, you know, getting rid of cancer? That's the point of having people who dealt with cancer or whose loved ones did lobbying their legislators about things government can do to help. My son is alive because he had a stem cell transplant mm. when he was 20. So he's 19 years cancer free. Of course, no politician is going to say they're pro cancer, but there's only so much money to go around. So today's lobbyists, they've got a list of things they'd like the state to do. Topping the list, cut down on tobacco use and e-cigarettes, too. The governor recently announced um, a, um, a bill that would hopefully ban the sale of e-cigarettes to youth and minors. Increasing the amount of money that the state spends on tobacco uh, control programs to uh, establish nutritional standards for uh, kids in, in child care settings. They also want more education about the importance of sunscreen and the dangers of tanning. We hope the decreased use of tanning beds, which are shown to cause skin cancer and melanoma, um, in young people who are so exposed. There's also the problem that cancers in women that can be caught and treated are not simply because so many women can't afford the tests. That's what Lynn tells her legislators. My cancer was caught early because I was able to get a pap smear with my uh, yearly exams. There are about 30,000 women in Connecticut who can't do that. They can't afford it. And that is really one of the biggest problems Connecticut has, this wealth disparity. People with money get tested, people without money don't, and cancer is more likely to kill them. In the dozen years since the state and experts started working together on a cancer plan, they have succeeded in bringing down those mortality rates. Live in the New Haven Newsroom, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.